Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a pick a card reading. So this is going to be what your angels or your guides or spirit wants you to know at this particular time. So it's a pretty open reading. Basically anything can come through. It's not really themed. So whatever's meant to come through for you today will be dependent upon what you choose as far as the numbers concerned. So we're only going to do numbers one, two, and three. So whatever you resonate with as far as those numbers go is what you should choose. I don't have any focal points so you're not picking any objects so i will put the timestamps in the description box below and um, i will do all the shuffling on camera so that way you guys can see how the uh, how the piles are formulated but this will take a little bit of time and if you guys want to skip this whole process wow this skip this whole process we're just going to go straight to the reading um, with the timestamps, okay but if you want to stick around that's cool because i will be telling you guys what i'm using as i use the cards so this is a brand new deck this one is called the psychic soul oracle cards and they have butterflies on them and it's um it's actually a uh, crystals and stones deck and so each butterfly is associated with a particular stone or crystal and so i thought that was very unique so i thought it would be great to use this today so how i'm going to do i'm just going to put these down so we're going to do a message for pile one pile two and pile three so if some of you guys are interested in crystals or stones, or if you guys are interested um, just in healing or you know different things that you could use, this would be maybe a great message for you. We're also going to go into my Twin Flame Oracle. I just thought that it would be kind of interesting to see what needs to come through for some of you guys out there, whether it pertains to a love connection or just life. Anything can come through the Oracle deck. This will be for pile one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and go into this deck right here. It's a brand new deck. It is called the Angel Tarot. So it, it kind of sounds like the same Angel Tarot that Radley Valentine created, but uh, this is a little bit of a different deck. I just got this at Barnes & Noble just the other day, and I actually really like it a lot, so going to get a message here. One, two, and three. Oops. So we'll do that. And I'm literally just picking things that I'm guided to pick right now. Let's go ahead and use the romance angels because that may bring forth a romantic message for some of you out there. One, two, oops, three. All right, let's go ahead and get one of these cards. This is from Tony Carmine Salerno, which is the Gaia Oracle. Let's go ahead and get a couple of messages here. We got one, we got two, and three. Let's do the signs from spirit love oracle whoops that one wants to pop out but i'm not going to take it because we're doing a pick a card so if it's meant to come through i remember what it was you guys so i'll tell you it's significant one two three i'm going to use this deck it's called therapy oracle cards because this is going to show us kind of like where energy is blocked for us whether it's our own behavior or maybe some sort of behavior when it comes to dealing with other people okay one two three okay and we're going to do a sacred geometry activation oracle card and I want to do one more card what do I want to do I'm filling it I just used these cards earlier this is the what the hell is this oh my god it's from Sonia Coquette trust your vibes that's it 
and one more. That's it. And then we're done. Okay. This right here is the uh, Archangel Power Tarot cards by Radley Valentine. One, two, three. All right, you guys, let's do it. All right, so the very first thing that we're going to go through, so take a look at the piles if you've gotten this far. One, two, or three, and we're going to go ahead and get some messages what spirit your guides want you to know at this particular time. So I'm going to put these to the side, and we're going to start with number one. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we have answered prayers. Labradorite. I hope I'm saying that right. Labradorite. Like a freaking Labrador, right? <laughs> um, answered prayers. Butterfly of answered prayers. So whatever it is that you have uh, prayed for, whatever it is that you've been wanting, we have a higher power working in your favor, divine intervention, literally bringing miracles into your life. That's amazing because we have now the card of compromise. We may have compromised a lot. We may have sacrificed. We may have tr been trying to work something through with somebody and it just kind of seems like we're at our wits end. Like, you know, I don't know how much more of my time I can compromise. I don't know how much more I can bend before it's just, un it just it, it, wow, until it's just too much. So, there's some sort of an intervention and intervening that's happening here because things may have gotten very difficult for you when you're trying to figure out a situation or a solution or you're dealing with another person. For some of you, this Queen of Wands could be your energy or it could be the person that you're dealing with. The Queen of Wands will usually depict a fire sign individual. That's going to be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. This is just fiery, creative person. As you can see, the keyword there is creativity. This could also be a creative pursuit. So if some of you out there have been wanting to do something creatively or you have started a business or whatever that is, I'm getting some sort of an answer to your prayers is coming when it comes to the de dedication and the determination and the effort that you've put towards something. So there's definitely, well, see, look at this now. <laughs> finances and career. So for some of you, it could be that more finances and career are more of a factor in your life than even romance. That's going to resonate for some of you. Some of you might watch this video going, oh man, you know, this is definitely romantic and it could be. But I'm seeing here that financial issues, it says, are a factor in your love life. Holy crap, are a factor in your love life right now. But the thing is, the person that you're dealing with, that could also be their energy. So let's just say you're waiting on somebody else to want to come, you know, into your life or come towards you to work on a situation. Could be that right now they're tied up with their finances and career. And that's one of the reasons that this isn't happening right now. But the thing that I see, though, is that you guys have divine intervention that is working on your behalf when it comes to your connection or whatever's happening in your life at this present time. So whether it's a connection as in a, a romantic connection, or if it's maybe even a partnership, or if it has something to just do with your finances and your career, I'm seeing that spirit is working on your behalf because now we have the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment card, nine of hearts. This is talking about fulfillment, harmony, and protection. So again, this is about our desires. This is about what makes us feel good, what we want, our wishes, things like that. So again, we've got some answer to our prayers, an answer to the things that we wished for. And now we also have our guardian angel. So your guardian angel is showing up for you in this reading. Now, of course, your guardian angel, you could you know, look at this as a spirit guide, somebody who's passed on. But if you're seeing shapes, now it doesn't have to just be in clouds, even though I have created this card and it says cloud shapes. If you see hearts, that is your spirit guide, your guardian angel, or somebody that's on the other side communicating to you that they are helping to protect you on this path. They are literally working on your behalf behind the scenes to protect you. It's beautiful. Wow. And I believe a Labradorite is the magician stone. It's a psychic stone. So you guys also have to pay attention to your intuition at this time because it can also be spirit communicating with you about specific things right now, okay? So a big block right now is baggage. Either you're dealing with somebody's baggage or this is your own baggage or it's both. So let's read it. It says, the sum total of experiences, neurosis, inner children, issues, and traumas a person carries through life, okay? So this is just baggage. It could be that whatever it is that you're wanting to create, whatever it is that you're trying to do right now, you're being courage, 
you're being encouraged to dump the baggage, to let it go. Whatever baggage that may be, whatever that hang up may be. If for some of you, you're dealing with working on your career right now, it could just be your own insecurities, your own issues of not feeling good enough are stemming from childhood and it's time to take that shit and let it go. I know easier said than done, right? But there could be something that's weighing you down from success right now. And your spirit guides and your spirit team and the universe are trying to intervene in order to help you to get to your wish fulfillment, to get, to get you to the life that you want to bring in for yourself. Okay, so you got a lot of protection going on around here with guardian angel and answered prayers. I just love it. So whatever your baggage is, it could also be that it's compromising your wish fulfillment right now. And so it is something for you to take a look at. The queen of wands, if this is you, the queen of wands is very, very high spiritually, energetic, uh, just frequency wise, she feels so good. She's a leader, a natural born leader. She has charisma, she's very attractive, people want to be around the queen of wands. And so if you have this baggage or this, this idea about yourself that you're not good enough, what spirit's also saying is to get into that queen of wands energy, because that queen of wands energy literally will attract to her what she desires. Okay. Especially when it comes to finances and career. Now it could be for some of you that your baggage is finances and career, as in that's something that holds you back from feeling good enough or feeling like you can do something. And what Spirit's saying right now is that that's just unnecessary uh, baggage thinking. You can still do, you can still create the life that you want, even if things are not in perfect alignment with your finances and career. It starts with one step and you can take these steps now. Stop making excuses. You're the only person holding you back from your, from your dreams. Okay. So we also have crown chakra. Beautiful. So I did get some kind of an energy here where you are tapped into the higher realm, the angelic realm, or you're really in tune with your spirit team and they are communicating with you telepathically. So really pay attention to any ideas that you are getting at this present time when it comes to certain things that you want to do, certain things you should do, taking certain action steps, that sort of thing, because you are in direct communication with the divine. It's very high in vibration or vibration for you right now. So really pay attention to the crown chakra energy. It could also mean that you get these, pr these answers to your prayers through meditation as well. We also have, it's a team effort. See, I'm telling you here, you've got a spirit team around you right now. If you chose number one, your spirit team is plugged into you, plugged into your dreams. You guys are all on the same page. People are, you know, your team is wanting to help to bring you wish fulfillment. Seriously. Yep, and now we have Ten of Michael. Ten of Michael is the Ten of Swords, you guys, and I'm going to read it to you. A situation has ended. It says, and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So again, this could be this baggage that you're holding on to, something from the past, something from childhood perhaps, something from the past that happened, some sort of insecurity, something that's made you feel insecure or less than. It's time to leave that shit in the past. It's time to leave that heavy bag or burden behind. Why? Because it's time for you to seriously move forward and fly. I always say that, you know, but that's how I feel. It's time for you to fly. It's, it's not a time for you to stay burdened and heavy with this baggage. It's time to say, okay, it's the end of the show. Bye-bye now. I'm leaving behind the, the curtains closing and you're moving on. So whether this is a relationship, whether this is a job, whether it's an old way of being, you're going into some fresh energy and you're going towards your dreams and your goals. And your spirit team is with you every step of the way encouraging you. So pay attention to your intuition especially when it comes to your finances and career for some reason, you guys. But again, this could be about love as well. So I hope that those messages resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed them and that they were helpful to you. So we're going to go ahead and move on into number two. All right, guys. So if you chose number two, let's go ahead and get the messages. Beautiful. We have the butterfly fly of balance. Petrified wood. It says harmony, yin, yang, and equilibrium, okay? So I don't really know a lot about petrified wood, 
Um, I'm literally just getting into stones and crystals right now with the course that I'm taking. So this is one of the reasons that I wanted to purchase this deck is to just kind of familiarize myself a little bit with some of the energies that are attached to each of these either minerals or stones. It does say wood. So is it wood? I'm not sure. <laughs> so I apologize if I don't know enough about it. But the key words are harmony, yin yang and equilibrium. So this is about getting balanced with the masculine and feminine energies either with the situation or within yourself. Okay, currently we've got the winter card coming through here. Now I created this winter card, yes, as timing seasons, but I also created it with the element in mind. So winter means that things are dormant, things are frozen, things are just maybe not growing specifically at this time in a certain situation. And why is this? Because it's hope it's balancing something out here. And now we also have the six of pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card of an equality, an equal give and take. So this is about balancing out energies here. It's literally equally balanced here. Both people are just the yin and yang are perfectly balanced. So I'm just getting that during a dormant period of time where maybe something isn't happening in your life, there's a reason for it because something is not balanced just yet. So balance is occurring right now. Healing is occurring. Whatever's happening in any type of situation, this doesn't have to just be about love. This could be about finances and career. This could be about your life purpose. This could be about your health. This could be about anything. So just take the messages as they resonate with you. But all I know is that something is being balanced out right now, kind of like the temperance is energy. And so it's a time for patience. It's not really a time for great action, okay? Now for romance, we have past life connection. Look at this. So you're definitely dealing perhaps with a past life situation or relationship. Now this doesn't have to be romantic, even though yes, this is a romantic angel deck. And I did pick a card for romance if you guys wanted a love um, card, but it does not have to be. All I know is that there's some kind of a past relationship and it doesn't have to be an actual past life. This could just be at some point in your past in this life that you have dealt with somebody and something is still being balanced. Something is still being healed. And what I want to tell you though, is we have eternal love. So this has been an eternal love connection. It may be that you have never been able to leave this person. Like this person has never been able to leave your heart or your mind or your, yeah, your heart or your mind or your space. You've always felt this connection with them ever since you've met them. You've never been able to truly let them go. Okay. So it says happiness, harmony, and fulfillment. We also have this energy here of harmony. So harmony and fulfillment are available to you when it comes to this connection with this person. But again, something right now is still being balanced. So the next card that we have is the apron, which means service. It's time to get to work. It's time to focus on something else. The more that we focus on ourselves, the more that we focus on living rather than getting caught up in what's not working, the more that the energy can flow in our lives. When spirit sees us showing up for ourselves, they also want to meet us half, halfway and help us out along the way. But if somebody is stuck, yes, of course, spirit can help to bring us, you know, up and high, higher in vibration. But the thing is, you know, and I don't want to say like, this is kind of a shitty statement. God helps those who helps themselves. I don't believe that entirely, but I do know that if you take an active effort or action in your healing, it's like, spirit shows up more and more and more like you'll notice it more so this is about helping ourselves and sometimes when you can't help yourself and you're feeling really down one of the best things that you can do is see how you can be of service to other people this in turn makes you feel good this in turn makes you feel alive and this also takes your focus off of something that is either always hanging around or something that's just still not balanced so I'm seeing to busy yourself during a period of things that need balancing. And if this has nothing to do with a romantic relationship and this is just your life in general where you're feeling like, you know what, I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do. What I'm, do what I'm getting here is get moving. Get moving. And as you get moving, things will start to balance out and unravel for you and make sense later. But you can't just sit around and stay stagnant like the winter's energy. You can't do that. I mean, you can. But what I'm seeing is that things are going to just stay stagnant for you if you do that. 
You don't want to alienate yourself. This is also an energy here. You don't want to alienate others. So it could be that, you know what, you're just feeling out of balance, out of whack. You're just not feeling energetically up to things, but we have alienation. People may alienate themselves from us. We might alienate ourselves from them. So let's see what it has to say. The sensation of estrangement or separation from others, of not belonging in groups or being different or misunderstood. You could literally feel like you don't belong. You could literally feel like, ah, you know, I don't know if I want to do that because if I do that, then what if I'm not liked? What if I'm not received correctly? You know, so there's some kind of an energy here where maybe a blockage for you is that you're not entirely sure or comfortable in your own skin when it comes to expressing yourself or when it comes to just taking a risk or a chance. And so it could be that you've gotten really good at alienating yourself and kind of giving up even before you try. Or it could even be that there's something about your energy that needs to be cleared and balanced and other people might negatively respond to your energy because if your energy is in a low vibrational place, other people tend to stay away or they are repelled by your energy. So that's not to suggest if you guys chose number two that you've got an issue or a problem and people don't want to be around you. But if some of you resonate with that energy or you find that people are constantly running away from you, they're constantly avoiding you or whatever the situation is, there could be something to it. It could be that there is an opportunity for you to kind of change your vibration in some sort of a way. Maybe the vibration that you're currently in right now is just not really resonating with a lot of people. Okay. And it might, you might feel like, you know, it's everybody else. And sometimes we can get into that energy where it's like, can't be everyone else all the time. At some point, we've got to examine ourselves and we've got to take some sort of responsibility for why things continuously happen. So this brings us to the next card, transition. So this is talking about a frequency of transition that's supporting your deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. So we need to let something transition. We need to let something go so it can heal. So I really do see that if you chose number two, there's definitely something that has happened here that may not be 100% to your liking or satisfaction right now. You may not like where you're at or a lot of things might not be happening right now because a transition is taking place. That's why. Because there's some sort of balancing that's occurring or some sort of healing. If it does have to do with a connection, a love connection, there's definitely a connection here of a deep spiritual nature. You're definitely connected to another soul, whether it's by karma or whether it is just a deep soul connection like twin flame or soulmate. One of the three. But whatever's happening with that connection, it needs time to transition. So in the meantime, we instead of alienating other experiences or other people that are on our path, we need to really jump into back into action. We really need to jump back into living again. So even though we have calm energy, a lot of non-action activity here, we definitely have the ability to put on an apron and get to work. Yep, it might be very hard for you. Sometimes you just got to freaking fake it till you make it. I know that some people are just like, are you freaking kidding me? I can't even get out of bed. I can't even get out of this just gloomy phase of winter. I can't even like move, <laughs> you know, I'm in hibernation mode. What are you talking about? That's the last thing that I want to do. But what spirit is saying here is you got to fake it sometimes until you make it and getting into that energy of service. So it's like, that might be the last thing that you want to do. The last thing that you might want to do, and I'm just using this as an example, is to help that friend move. Doesn't mean you don't want to help them, but you energetically aren't up for it. You don't want to help them move this week. You just want to sit around in bed and you want to freaking eat, you know, Cheetos and you want to just binge watch Netflix. I mean, that might be what you want to do. But are you just alienating yourself from maybe fresh energy that wants to come in and take you out of that hibernation mode? Or do you put the fake pants on and just fake it till you make it, get in, you know, put that hat on, put your clothes on, you go there and you end up having the greatest freaking day and you're so glad you went. It's that kind of energy, you guys. So if some of you are really suffering right now where you're just feeling really stagnant and you're just feeling like you just can't, can't get it together right now, do things that maybe you don't want to do. 
And I'm not talking about like, oh, I feel obligated, so I'm doing it because I feel obligated. No, there's a difference. Just try to get out of your element. Try to get out of your environment. I feel that this will bring you some much needed energy. And it may also be what you need in order to balance things for your life at this present time. So transition might be kind of hanging in the balance where, you know, spirit's kind of like, you know, this is the time to transition. It's the time to let something go. And you're kind of still hanging on by a thread. And the push is to really to get you out of this mode. And once you get out of this mode, it's like, ah, oh, now the energy has lifted. I'm feeling better. I'm transitioning. I'm feeling so much better. And that has happened so many times for me personally, where I'm just like, I'm so glad I came today because if I hadn't, I would still be in that mindset. So if you guys are feeling stuck, a great way out of this energy is to basically do things that maybe don't sound like a good idea at the time. <laughs> See, but now we have the two of swords. This is stuck energy. It says, it will all be better if you just made a decision. Overanalyzing a problem, you need to find a compromise. So the compromise is that you can no longer compromise your mental health. You can no longer compromise your just state of being. Alienating yourself or alienating others on your path or your journey because of whatever's going on with you some kind of an energy needs to come to a close. We need to start living again. We need to start, you know, we need to do something because something is hanging in the balance. So it may be that some of you are very focused on this connection right now, but not a lot's happening with it because there's obviously something that needs to be balanced. And it could have a lot more to do with us than we even realize that we've got to change our vibe. We got to change our frequency, but we're not seeing it that way. So again, what spirit is telling us is that in order for things to start moving again and to start transitioning, we need to start doing something or, you know, focus on service, do something different with our time and our energy because just focusing on this isn't enough it's not enough to change it it's not enough to heal it we actually have to take action steps in the physical world i'm seeing in order for things to change in this situation so i really hope that that makes sense to you guys if it didn't resonate with you no problem pick number one or three all right so now we're going to move on into number three All right, guys, so if you chose number three, let's go ahead and get some messages on what your guides or your angels or spirit wants you to know. We have butterfly of perfect alignment, the rainbow fluorite, balance, harmony, and coming together. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have spring butterflies in the spring. That's amazing. Now where I'm at here in Arizona, it's currently winter. And so this is the next season coming up. So I'm literally looking at this as, you know, the next couple of months from now, there may be something that you're perfectly coming in alignment with for some of you. If you're on the other side of the world, it could be that spring is a while away. And so in that could be the time period. Just take it as it resonates. But we have change. The wheel of fortune is turning in your life again. This is the angel of destiny. So something that's destined for you, something that's just meant, something that you're supposed to maybe collide with is coming into perfect alignment in the spring. Oh, wow. But the thing is, there's a little bit of a, of, of a pause here. Um, we're, not, that's, we're not coming into this energy at this moment. We have spring because, see, we're in winter. And even if you're not in winter, you guys, wherever you're at in the world, I'm just getting this energy. You're either in summer or winter. I think that's the absolute opposite. So spring, I don't know, is spring anywhere. I could be wrong, though. Please don't quote me. But all I know is that this energy is not in this moment, as in today. This is future energy got to love yourself first. So if you're not feeling love for yourself, if you're still feeling like you need to fine tune some things and to, you know, and I'm only going to use this for an example. Okay. I need to do this. I need to pay off my debt. I need to lose the weight. I need to do this. I need to do that. Whatever it is. I need to educate myself. I need to do this program, finish school. What spirit is saying here is that yes, give yourself some time to feel better because something is coming in perfect alignment with you very soon. And so get yourself prepared now because it's coming. That's what I'm getting here. And now we have Moonlight Goddess. It says repressed emotions, healing, and reflection. So again, any kind of leftover baggage, any kind of 
just stuff that we're carrying around, anything that's been repressed, it's time to heal this. Moonlight is all about, it doesn't have to be dark as a negative, but it's any kind of shadows that we need to release or work on. This is a great time to do it because why? Shit's about ready to get real. Something's going to happen here. And so you want to make sure that you're feeling good and you're high in vibration, ready to go. Exactly. Hidden knowledge. Because the thing is, this pearl here, this is telling you. Do you know how long it's taken this, what is it, a clam that's taken us, taken to make this beautiful pearl? A long freaking time. Things take time. So it could be something that you guys have been working on for a while, something that you guys have been waiting for. The thing is, is that hidden knowledge. There's the hidden beauty in the situation, the blessing that was in disguise, something that you're going to be like, oh my God, now I get it. Now I know why this took so long, or now I know, know why I had to wait. Now I know why something needed to be in perfect alignment first before this gift was you know, presented to me. Okay. Biggest block though for you guys is avoidance. So some of us could be avoiding healing, we could be avoiding facing something. We could even be avoiding seeing a certain person because it's a huge freaking trigger. Now, this could be somebody doing this to you as well. So if you're feeling like somebody's avoiding you, that's because maybe they are. Maybe they're avoiding you because they're not feeling good. Maybe they're avoiding you because of some other reason. So let's read what it says. Withdrawing from or avoiding threatening or undesirable situations rather than dealing with them directly. So for some people, we could just be straight up scared. They could be stare, scared. They're avoiding us because we make them feel uncomfortable for whatever reason. We're triggering them or they're triggering us, one of the two. But avoiding this energy here and repressing it and pretending like it's not happening and not dealing with it is not going to help your your situation. It's not going to help you and it's not going to help anything that seems to be stuck in your life at this present time. Because I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune is saying, hey, the wheel is about ready to start turning in spring. So make sure that you get rid of whatever is no longer working for you, whether it's your own repressed emotions, how you feel about yourself, self-esteem issues, whatever. You can't avoid this forever. You got to address this. You got to address why you're feeling this way. You have to address why something has happened. You've got to deal with it. You've got to process this, okay? Now we get integration. So I'm going to read this. It says, the frequency of integration supports or our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. Oh my gosh. This is about integrating the dark and the light together, you guys. I already saw an energy of shadows here. It's the shadows and the light. We are integrating both. Both are necessary in order for us to heal. So if some of you are avoiding your darkness, you're avoiding your shadows, you're avoiding just the ugly truth or whatever the situation is, it's time to face it because there's some kind of a pearl of wisdom there. There's some sort of hidden knowledge in the shadows when it comes to you, your healing or a situation, and you've got to face it and you've got to integrate it and you've got to learn to dance with both the light and the dark. And I'm not saying that in a negative way, but there we are all made up of light and shadows. And if you can't face your shadows or embrace that part of yourself that maybe other people deem to be dark, then you're not fully integrating this beautiful energy that is available to you. Call on your angels. So some of you, you might feel afraid. You might feel afraid to face something or someone or maybe even some aspect of yourself. So spirit is telling you to call upon your guides and your angels for their help. If you're feeling like very dark, maybe you're just having thoughts. You're having very dark thoughts about something or someone or even about yourself and you're just having a real hard time. It could be, you know, sometimes when we're feeling very negative over somebody else, we're just pissed. We're just like, you know, whatever the situation is, I fucking hate this person, or I just wish that they would just go away or whatever we're feeling. And I'm just using this as an example, you guys. That's our avoiding our own shit. We are avoiding our own darkness. We are projecting our shadow onto them because we cannot deal with it. So sometimes people blame other people for their issues and their problems. Why? Because they are avoiding taking responsibility for their own damage, their own crap. So this could be something that you're doing or it could be something that someone else is doing to you. But we do have, there's some kind of an energy here where you're going to 
understand this knowledge. You're going to see the bigger picture. You're going to see what's going on here. And what you're going to do is you're going to start to see things in a different way. And when you do this, things are going to start to release and you're going to start to go with the flow again of life. You're going to start to basically bloom and blossom. You're going to start to be able to move forward if you have felt stuck for a while or maybe even a situation that's been stuck for a while. People are going to start dealing with stuff. And it's going to happen at the perfect time. And so I'm just getting here that when we release things, when we work on things, when we're feeling higher vibration, people that are meant to be in vibration with us, they're, they're at our same vibration. They meet up with us. We perfectly align with people that we are on the same, like whatever frequency we're holding, we perfectly align with other individuals. So some people will say, oh my God, why did I have to deal with this situation? Why did I have to deal with this awful thing that happened to me? And sometimes it's hard to believe that, well, it might've just been our frequency. Our frequency attracted the situation into our life. And somebody's like, no way. There's no way that I wanted this to happen to me. But sometimes there's things that are so buried in our uh, subconscious, as in repressed stuff, that we're still attracting things from that old frequency, okay? So again, if you chose number three, there is some deep stuff here that you may have been avoiding or maybe somebody else has been avoiding for a while and this is about ready to get handled because Spirit's saying it's time to move on. That's what they're saying. And if you need our help, we're here, but you have to ask. We can't intervene unless you ask. And look at this beautiful card to sum up this reading, the Ace of Gabriel, Ace of Wands energy. This is a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. This is a brand new beginning and a fresh new start. So whatever this is, whatever needs to be dealt with, handled, let go, we have fresh energy. We have movement after a period of stagnation. We have energies perfectly aligning to get us to the next step. And it really starts with us, though, is what I'm getting if you chose number three. But even if you didn't choose number three, it always starts with us, whether we want to believe that or not. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoy these messages. If this didn't resonate with you, you can choose one or two or hell, you guys can choose all three. Totally up to you. So have a fantastic day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.